All right, it's May 19th, 2023. My name is Timothy French, and we're in Jefferson, South Carolina, to continue on a quest to visit every town center in the state. So let's get started right here at the auto parts in town. Yeah, Jefferson is about 70 miles away from Charlotte. And, uh, my family and I would always come through here on our way to the Myrtle Beach when I was younger. We'd come through Paisley and Jefferson McBee. Yeah, Jefferson sits right in between McBee and Paisley. We've already done a town center for Paisley, but we hadn't done one for McBee yet. But we're getting there. Made a little, nice little area in between these buildings there. That's cool. And there's a look back. That way, that's the way you go to Paisley and on back to Charlotte. Yeah. That's a little town's had its up and downs over the years, but it looks like they're doing some work here on these sidewalks and these buildings. So that's good. Yeah, I see a town that's ripe for renovation for sure. Revitalization. Here's a clock. That's right. A little left three, Jefferson. South Carolina, we've been going at it all day. Beautiful flowers there. What in the world? This used to be a video store, I guess. There's a relic. Let's see. I think it says Freeman's Video After Hours Dropbox. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like they're going to make it into something else now. Maybe a restaurant or something. Yeah, the video days. Days of Blockbuster. Yeah, they're working on this one too, so that's good. Looks like the Chamber's been working with people. Town of Jefferson. Yeah, these sidewalks look fairly new. Yeah, I'd come through here with my parents. Going to Myrtle Beach, and then as I got older, my buddies and I, we customized us a car called Elvira. We would run down through here going to Myrtle Beach too when cruising was big down here. Around the pavilion at Myrtle Beach. And uh, had a lot of fun. But one night we got pulled over <laughs> here in this town for speeding. It was a crazy old car we cut the top off of and made it into a convertible. Man, we had such a good time. We actually had two of them over the years. We had Elvira 1, then we had Elvira 2. Yeah. Like those old lights. That'd be a good building to open up something. Another one here. This metal almond could be saved too. Well, this is open, so that must be a business now. Open, but I don't know what you are. And they had to cover up these windows on this one probably to keep people from busting them out. Them old dual doors on it could have been a drugstore at one time. Got a ghost sign up there. I can't make it out. But they're taking care of the building, so that's good. Building owners not letting it just get all torn apart, and maybe they'll get to lease that out on down the road. Some beautiful old buildings here. Need some paint for sure. Got, got this one painted, papered up, or clothed up. These bricks don't look that old, really, compared to the other ones. Let me step down off this curb. If you look back, I guess that they are old though. The Jefferson Banks, this was bank here. I don't know if that was part of the bank. It's got a little tag up here, but I don't think I can read it. It says memory, memory tags. That's the first time I've seen that. I couldn't hardly read that in memory of Staff Sergeant Darrell Kirkley, U.S. Air Force. Well, that's good. That's something interesting. Usually you'll see like bricks and things like that, but I like that. Oh, man, whoever owned the bank sure did let it go. I don't think they're going to be able to save it. Man, that's a shame, too. I do not understand why people buy a building and just let it go. Maybe they couldn't sell it. Maybe it could, could, should be a good reason, I hope. Because, man, you can see. It's been leaking for a while. I'm kind of afraid to go under here, but I want to look inside. Oh, it's weird, those steps right at the beginning. So whatever, I, them steps wasn't like that. They were right there at that door, so that was something that was added. Don't tell them what they've been had in this building over the years. So I don't know if they can save that or not. They might can. It's going to cost them, though. It's a shame because it was a cornerstone building in this town. It surely was. It's a big old building. There's a look out of the 
on one of their streets there, some of the houses. Let's cross over and look at this one. Yeah, I've been passing beautiful houses all through these back roads of South Carolina all day long, and I tried to, I was gonna try to film some of them with this camera that I'm using right now, but it was just too dangerous to do it. So I think I'm gonna get an Insta360 X3. I've been looking, looking at that one in a DJ2 action camera that I can just mount up there and film as all day long as we go and show you some of these places I had a few people ask did I do that and I, I really want to do it man I've had an interesting day for sure seeing things along the way and a turkey ran out from me in the uh, Yor <laughs> every time I go through Yor on 109 it seems like a turkey runs out in front of me <laughs> that's a beautiful wall yeah so hopefully I can get that I'm gonna have to save my money up for that but as soon as I do, I'll start making some in-between videos, in-between-the-town videos. I ain't figured out what to call them yet, but uh, let you see, you know, the landscape and the houses and things in between. There's been some nice ones today. Interesting, that's all deer in one yard down there in Sherrall. Well, this old gas station's been closed a long time, and it looks like it's They've let the water tear it up, so it probably can't come back unless they put a new roof on it. I don't know how much that would cost. The old TV antenna that up there on top, back when the video store was still open, they was using that probably. Yeah, car wash is done for too. Getting ready to sprinkle on me again. I said this in the other videos today, but the weatherman said it was going to partly cloudy and showed the big sun up there. I thought it was going to be a pretty good day all day, but it's going to be drizzling on me all day. But that's all right. One more look at that bank there. Yeah, this town's ripe to be revitalized. A lot of people moving in the area, and I tell you what, this would be a good town to move in to and open a business. Like the Golden Nugget, whatever that is. Cut, bang. Cut, bang, and blow. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> A chain reaction. A couple of little stores there. Hey. I'm going to all the towns in South Carolina trying to get people interested in their uh, town centers again and, and help the businesses like yours here. Yeah. Uh, just bring attention to them. Yeah. And so I've, I've been in doing it in North Carolina and South Carolina, and I've got over half in North Carolina, so I'm down here today trying to get started on some of these. Are you on any social media? YouTube channel called All Right with Timothy French. Okay. Yeah. Any questions about it? I like I liked your name. I always tip oh, my yeah you. yeah. Uh, the salons have the most interesting names. Oh, so. Yeah, yeah. We like to attract our certain type of customers. Yeah yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like a great shop you got going. How long have you yeah. been here? So I've been here for August will be four years. Uh huh. Yeah, and um, I've been doing here for seven years now. Uh huh. And my coworker Elizabeth, uh -huh. I've been here. She's been here for two years now. Oh good, oh good. Well, I hope it sounds like you've been doing good, and I hope oh, you continue yeah, to good. We're it looks like the town's trying to do some revitalization. Yeah, so, Lyons, he's bought a bunch of buildings in town. All the ones that look like they're being remodeled, mm -hmm. that's the ones he's bought. And um, so he'll remodel them and rent them out for really cheap just yeah. to get some businesses yeah. in town. So he's working on that one right there. Uh -huh. The next one over that's working on, we're going to have a coffee shop coming to town. Oh, that's good. He's opening up a produce beside it. This lady beside me is kind of like a small boutique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well, that's good because I mean, uh, each business you add that brings more customers, it might cross yeah, over to yours and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for filling me in on it. It's yeah, great. Yeah, yeah, just check. Like, yeah, yeah. I've been to a lot of them, and I really, I am, I am. Yeah, that's the only way to travel. <laughs> Are you? Oh, good. Oh, yeah. good. And we're also having a festival here tomorrow night um, oh, are you? from 3 to 11. Okay. Yeah, that's why they had that stage set up. There will be a live band set up. Uh -huh. We'll have vendors up and down the street. The Mustang Club will be here, and um, there will be a couple food trucks and stuff out here. Oh, that'll be fun. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if you're still in town, definitely come by. I that. definitely will. Yeah. yeah, check out my channel, All Right with Timothy French. All Right with Timothy French. Yep. Well, that's All Right. All Right. <laughs> Thank you. That's great. 
Feeding us on it there. Here's another one. And like she said, they're getting things going around here. So that's awesome. Little house back there. Like she said, the building, the guy that's building the, uh, fixing these buildings up is going to do you right on the lease, it sounds like. So definitely, if you're interested in get up with your chamber, if they have one here. I haven't seen, a, seen one, but if they do, get up with them. Or come into town, talk to some of these other business owners. They'll point you in the right direction, just like she did. Sounds like they're going to have a good festival tomorrow, too. Roy's Hardware was here at one time, and it's down. Bigger, bigger hardware change just knocked these old... Hardware's out sometimes. I hate that. Well, there's the other side. Let's see what this is. It's an interesting. Interesting. Night deposits. That's a round one. Maybe, I guess this may be another bank at one time. Gaines Corporate Center now. Man, that'll be nice if they get these buildings fixed up. And I hope the guy that come in here and is doing all the work on these buildings does good. And I hope the people he rents to does good and they can keep the prices right and find a good break point for everyone. All the poster stores, I think they're still in business. I see upholstery everywhere. So maybe they could just fix up their building a little bit and paint it and make it look better for the town and other businesses. All states right here. So there's that stage down there she was talking about. And uh, I imagine it's going to be good. Yeah, that's the way I'm going to be heading home. I'm going to be heading towards Charlotte. I was going to try to get Mineral Springs. There's one little town out there I missed. I was up around Waxhaw a while back. But I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to get it some other time because it's getting wet. <laughs> getting wet and getting late, and I'm getting tired. Jefferson, South Carolina. Come check them out tomorrow. Well, this video won't be put out tomorrow, but come check them out any chance you get. And if you're heading down to Myrtle Beach like we used to, don't do the bypass. Come on through town. Take a break in here. Looks like they're going to have some great things going on in Jefferson. So I hope you enjoyed this walk and talk tour. If you did, I appreciate it. If you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.